And once this is settled, then I'm going to pour that over the top of it um, and fill in any areas where it just needs a bit of a fill in. Okay, the next one I'm going to be doing is the pyramid. Uh, and again, I will chuck these in. I have taken the bubble out of the point of this, so it shouldn't now have a bubble in that point, one would hope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just top up with a little bit of clear resin where I need to. So I'm going to top that one up. That one needs a bit of a top up. Certainly the bangle does. Very fine line on there. And then what we'll do is we'll wait for these to cure. And we'll see how well they've come out. And I'm hoping they're going to come out really, really well. This is a simple, quick, easy way, I hope, of making some really colourful and slightly different jewellery and resin projects. Well, these have all cured now, so I think it's time to un unveil them. So the first one I'm going to do is the pyramid, so hopefully... This one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really like how that's come out. And as you can see, because I used a toothpick on that point, there is no air bubble trap there. And it's um, it's got a lovely point on it. So I'm really pleased with how that one's come out. Let's have a look at this one, the crystal. Okay, that one's come out okay. It's not come out as well as this, because I think it's because there's so much in here that um, is textured, but I still do like it. So let's have a look at the little... Oh, the pendant has come out lovely too. I'm really pleased with that. The bangle next. Now there is a little bit of flashing on this because I did over pour a little bit. So that will need to come off and just pull that off. Oh, and that as well has come out lovely. I really like that. I, 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 these glass things are brilliant. So the egg, using my own egg mould. Okay, they have all sunk down to the bottom um, here on this one. But that's not so much of a problem. And I must have left a little bit of silicon into the mould when I did it. And it's cast across there. Because it's not actually in the mould. It must have been when I trimmed it. But overall, I think that's come out quite nice. But we all make those little mistakes. And then this is the island one. Now, this isn't finished because it has to have its second coat. Because what you do is you put that in there. Like so. Push that one through the top, through that little hole. I will put the link to this in the description. And then what you do is you then fill that up with um, either a clear or whatever you want to use. I will use a clear for this. And then you've got those little layers in that. And I think that's come out really well too. So overall, I think this has been definitely a positive, definitely a positive um, outcome. And uh, it just goes to show that just using little tiny glass beads, you can get some great 
effects. So I will pop the link to everything I've used in the description. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure that you check out the video above next if you want to learn more about resin. Bye.